look back and think, wow, I used to not know how to click a mouse. I remember doing that practice, and now I see the email that I sent to my daughter with a picture copying, copied and pasted into it. I think that was, um, yeah, pretty special. Um, I am Catherine. I taught a basic computer skills class with a, through a partnership with APA. Uh, I'm Flor. I also taught the class along with Catherine. In an effort to kind of keep students engaged with the material, we decided to create a culminating project um, that they would work on throughout the cycle, and then at the end we would present it to them. We did um, it on a Google Doc, so it'd be a running document. Um, and anyone can access it that's been teaching the class. So Catherine and I are working together. If she was with one student one week, she'd take the screenshot, put it in their document, and then the next week I can view it or add to that document. Yeah, initial weeks when we're doing the very basic skills, uh, we took the screenshots, explained to the student what we were doing, and then um, copied that in, into a Google Doc. But as the weeks went along, um, well, for one, as we scrolled through the doc, every time we opened it up, we could say, you know, oh, I remember when you did this, I remember when you did Google Maps, and so it was a little bit of a refresher every time at the end of class. Um, and then also one thing that was neat was we were able to have the students do the copying pasting. Um, and you know, so this is one student's example. Her name is Chen and uh, she started off with the mouse practice, very basic, click and drag. Um, one of the things we also did aside from taking screenshots is to take pictures of the students actually interacting. Um, another really special part of this class was having the students bring in the email addresses of family members and friends. And so in these screenshots, you can see when Chan first made her Gmail account, it says, welcome Chan. Um, thank you, Google. Um, and then over here, you can see an email that she's sending to her daughter. And since we created these slideshows uh, with a Google account on Google Drive, um, I think their um, version is called Slides instead of PowerPoint, but it's the same thing. And so you can just uh, click share on the top left corner, of the top right corner of your screen, and then you get a link, and you can put that link in an email in an email, and send that to someone. And so that's what we did with our students, so that when they get the time, when they have the time, they can get to that point and watch the slideshow again or share it with their families. And now they know how to Google them. Uh, email them and send them things. So. We as teachers went through and said and remember when you did this or remember when you did that um, and it was neat for us to be able to talk to them about it but I think it would have been really really special for them to kind of take ownership of the things that they had done and to say like I did this I did that. How did you guys know that this was really worth it to do and that you felt like it was a success? How did you know that? One thing I think that was really telling was the students' reactions um, when we showed them the pictures of the um, ceremony, our ceremony. Um, one of the students had tears in her eyes looking back at the, all the work that she had done. Um, I think being able to demonstrate all of the growth. They just like broad smiles and really excited about it. Everybody loves a montage, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes.